Hello there. In this video, we'll be looking at 0 1 knapsack problem. So, let's look at the problem statement. Given weights and values of n items, put these items in a knapsack of capacity W to get the maximum total value in the knapsack. So, what's going on here? Let's just take out the simple things first. We have n items. Each item has its own weight and value and we have a knapsack of a limited capacity that is capacity W and what we got to do with this is we need to find the maximum total value that can be collected in the knapsack with those items. Let's go further to understand what's going on exactly. So these are the four items okay a football, a vase, a watch and a monitor. Each one has a weight and a value assigned to it and here's our knapsack this box or container whatever you want to call it this is our knapsack so it has a limited capacity as you can see a capacity of 20 units which means it can hold 20 units of weight only the question asks us to choose from these four items to fill in this knapsack so that we could grab the maximum value out of it so to do that let us assume a function and that it returns the maximum value that can be grabbed in the knapsack of w capacity for n items okay so these are the parameters passed to this function see here is the capacity of the knapsack and n is the number of items w and v are one dimension arrays which store weights and values of these for items sequentially in them like this and this in our case we have the capacity of the knapsack 20 and the number of items is 4 as you can see the capacity is 20 and the number of items is 4 so we go right away and replace them here there we go so now let's start solving the problem Consider the last item of the mix, which is the monitor. Now if we look at the left, we already start to see a sub-problem over here. But wait, coming back to this monitor, there are only two cases. The first one, include the monitor in the knapsack. In which case, we are left, we are left with a similar smaller sub-problem, or similar smaller problem, which is this one. The reduced capacity of the knapsack is 8 here and we have 3 items to choose from and we need to do the same thing with this. We need to choose from these items to get the maximum value that can be grabbed into this knapsack, right? And this is the sub problem I was just talking about. And here's how the function call will look like for this smaller sub problem. And this one where the capacity is 8 and the number of items is 3. Now, coming to the second case, which is to exclude this monitor from the knapsack. Now, we are again left with a smaller sub-problem over here, but the capacity is not reduced this time because we are not considering this monitor into the knapsack to be kept in the knapsack. And we have 3 items to choose from now, but the capacity is still 20. So the function call for the smaller problem will look like this where we have 20 capacity of the knapsack, 3 number of items left to choose from. Now we assumed that the function knapsack will give us the maximum value that can be taken out of given items using a knapsack of given capacity, right? So the subproblem function calls will basically return the maximum values for their respective cases, right? Uh, so this function will return the maximum value that can be grabbed out of these three items for this knapsack of eight capacity. And similarly, this function will return the maximum value that can that we can take out from these remaining items, but with a capacity of 20. So we can simply say that the main problems function can be expressed with the help of these subproblems like this so the maximum value of the main function will either be the maximum value of the first case plus the value of the last item or 
the maximum value of the second case itself and no value will be added because we have not included anything yet now to be exact uh, we can uh, re-express this as the maximum of these two values right because we have to choose the maximum value for this particular function so if we simply take the maximum out of the two only possibilities we get the maximum value for this function right so if we can generalize this process of breaking and expressing a problem into simpler sub problems we can generalize our function and call it recursively while coding uh, so let's generalize so this is what our function looks like uh, in a general form so this function can be expressed as maximum of maximum of the first case where we include the last item that is the capacity gets reduced by the weight of the last item uh, the number of items get reduced by one plus the value of the last item as we just discussed earlier and the second case knapsack of capacity c which is as it is but the number of items is reduced now because we have considered our last item and we have chose to not include it in our knapsack right so this is how the generalized breakdown will occur and this function will, will be called recursively again and again until the base case occurs which is either there is no more capacity or there's no items to consider right that is either c or n becomes zero so this concludes finding the optimal substructure of the problem now let's try to optimize our solution even more we have simplified the representation of our function knapsack with k c comma n where c is the capacity and n is the number of items here we are taking another example to visualize something and the example is where capacity is 2 units and number of items are 3 and the weight of each item is 1 unit each right as you can see over here and the values are like 10 for the first item 20 for the second one 30 for the third one and the total capacity of the knapsack is 2 here so let's expand this function over here there we go so there are two cases the first one is when we have included the first item so the capacity has been reduced to one now because one item costs us one unit of weight and the number of items is now two the second case where we exclude the last item so the capacity is intact here and the number of items is reduced to two again expand it further now here's something interesting to see there are some repeated function calls here like these and these this means that our algorithm will solve the same sub problem twice or maybe even more three in this case which is kind of not favorable but if we can somehow save the solution from the first time we solve a case or a problem, that might help. Because the next time the same problem repeats, we can simply retrieve the saved solution. Right? These repeating problems are called overlapping subproblems. And to overcome them, we simply use a two-dimensional array to save our solutions, where each dimension represents each parameter, two in this case, C and N, obviously. So corresponding to the function with a particular c and n, the values will be stored in the corresponding location. For example, the value for 0, 2 will be stored here, where 0 is the capacity and 2 is the number of items. And similarly, the value for 1, 2 will be stored here, where the capacity is 1 and the number of items left is 2. So this is it for explaining the problem. Let's look at the code now. Okay. So here are the two parts that we discussed in the explanation, the optimal substructure and the overlapping subproblems. So this one basically implements the optimal substructure only. Uh, here we have three items. The values are these in this array. The weights are these. The capacity of the knapsack is 50 units 
and n stores the number of items okay so we have to print the maximum value that we can extract for this particular uh, case so the there is a call for the function this is the same function that we discussed right uh, there's just a difference in the sequence of these parameters these parameters are the same and the function does the same thing so let's see what it does okay so here's the function itself this is the base case so we'll come back to it later now there are two possibilities the first one is when the item that we are considering okay the last item the uh, the weight of the last item is greater than the capacity of the knapsack so in that case we need to we just need to ignore that item because we cannot put that item into a knapsack so we simply call recursively call a function for one less item and the same capacity and the other case is when the weight of the last item is less than the capacity of the knapsack so in that particular case there are two possibilities again the first one when the last item is included and the second one when the last item is excluded so when the last item is included we need to add the value of the last item plus we need to solve for one less item and a lower capacity of the knapsack that is the capacity of the knapsack is reduced by the weight of the last item as you can see here and the second case when the last item is excluded so in that case we need to simply solve for one less item right the capacity stays the same okay so now let's come to the base cases the first one is when there are no items left or the capacity runs out so in that case you need to return zero because we just cannot extract any more value so let's go to the next part okay this this one implements overcoming the overlapping sub problems so over here in this case as i discussed earlier uh, actually the, the example is the same so we don't need to look at it again so as we discussed here we are considering or uh, here we are taking a two-dimensional array right and first off simply we are filling up the base cases the first one is when there are no items left or the capacity runs out we're simply filling them with zeros just as i mentioned and if so there are two cases now if the weight of the last item is smaller than or equal to the capacity of the knapsack means that item can be taken and put into a knapsack then there are two cases possible the first one is when the item is included and the second one is when the item is not so when the item is included you need to simply add the value the same thing over again okay we we need to include the value of that item plus we need to look for a solution when there is one less item and the weight of the knapsack is decreased by the value of the last item right so you see how how this how the stuff is happening the, so the first time this thing gets solved it is being saved in this location and the second time uh, our function needs to solve this problem it will basically look at the location itself right so that's how uh, the problem of overlapping sub problems is being taken care of right and the last case is when the capacity of the last item is greater than the capacity of the knapsack so in that case we just need to ignore that last item because we cannot take that into consideration as we cannot put it into our knapsack so we just move on and we simply look for a solution where there's one less item so that's it and yeah we as an answer return the value saved at this particular location that is the maximum value we can extract when there are n items and the capacity of the knapsack is w of course the actual problem thanks for watching guys that was it for this video if you liked it please don't forget to like comment and share